All right, back in the shop. What we have today, I took a new bright toy grade RC. This was a six volt uh, Ford Harley Davidson edition toy RC car. I got this at Goodwill for two bucks. Of course, it didn't have any radio, anything with it. And I thought, hey, I kind of like the look of it. I thought I would try to make this a actual RC car again. So, you know, pretty slick looking wheels, nice looking body. It really just had a decent look to it. So I thought, well, we'll see what we can do. So I got this all hooked up. I hooked it up to a Traxxas TQI, one of the newer style radios. Uh, let's see if I can get the focus. No, probably not. Well, this is the 6507 radio. So I got it hooked up. As you can see, we got forward. We do not have reverse with this one, and I will get to that in a minute. The steering. It is not the best, but it does work. Let me show you what I uh, got going on in here. Go ahead and take the body off. We are running on a two cell. This is a Venom two cell, 7.4, 3200 ma, 20C. Got that hooked up there. And let's go ahead and turn this all off. I've got my on off switch right here on the back where the back bumper would be for easy access. Turn my radio off over here. All right, let me go ahead and disconnect the battery. All right, get that out of the way. And I'll show you what we got going on in here. Um, the reason that this is reverse only, or I'm sorry, forward only, no reverse, the ESC that I have in here is, I got it on clearance at a very, very good price. I think I paid like I don't know, 10 to $15 for it. It's a micro mini ESC made for really small motors. I did leave the original motor in here. Um, I, I don't even know what size it is, to be honest. It's whatever New Bright had in here, which is just a really small toy grade motor, which, you know, it's fine. For what this thing is, I don't, there's no shocks, nothing like that. So it doesn't really need to go fast. I was just playing around. I had some piece parts laying around the shop so I thought well let's just see what we can do with this so micro ESC uh, works just fine with the two cell it's rated for two and three cell so that works just fine uh, the receivers in here side by side this little box is um, was set up for the stock receiver which was this guy receiver ESC, or what would be an ESC, I'll build in one, would have been right in here. So, since I'm not using any of this, this I decided to kind of cram everything in here. Um, so that works just fine. The steering, I am using, the funny thing is, this is actually all waterproof. Just because that's just what I happen to have laying around. I am using a Traxxas. Uh, I can't get it to focus on there. Uh, 2056 waterproof servo. 2056 is the number. Um, how I hook this up, I know this is very, very rigged up and I don't care. Uh, I got the servo horn coming right off of the, the uh, servo. I've got a screw. It's actually a metal screw, but it works just fine. I drilled out a hole in the steering arm steering linkage that comes across just drill a hole right through that plastic and put the screw up and screwed it into the horn of my servo and it works just fine it gets it does what it needs to do so that is a look at my new truck uh, I will be upgrading the ESC eventually uh, the ESC is actually designed for an airplane, 
hence no reverse. Um, but it was cheap and it works, so I'm going to leave it in there for now. And then eventually I'll probably put in a reversing ESC. Uh, but for now, it's I can play with it. My son can play with it. My daughters can play with it, and uh, works just fine. So that is what we got going on. I do have a couple more projects in the works. I've got a new bright four wheeler I'm working on, which should be pretty fun. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm also working on another custom boat. So hopefully, I'll have those done relatively soon, and I will post those up. I will probably post a running video of this truck soon. Uh, so you can get a kind of a look at how it performs. If you have any questions, please ask. I will do my best to answer the best way I can. Um, and have a great day. God bless. And we'll see you later.